What's going on guys? Back at it again with a brand new series here on the channel. This one is on Fallout 4 as you see right in front of you. This is probably the game, the Fallout game specifically, that I have spent more time in than any other game I have ever played. Uh, with the exception of probably Fallout Shelter, but I don't know if that would count since that's a mobile game and it's kind of designed to be a time waster, but uh, as far as AAA games and stuff like that, this is probably the game that has the most hours played by me and is by far the reigning king. I love this game. It's by no means my favorite Fallout game, but it's definitely going to go down in my personal history as the game that I've spent the most amount of time in by far. But with that being said, if you're excited for this series, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. But with that being said, I kind of want to just jump right into this gameplay, man, because I'm very excited to actually play this game once again. I haven't played it in so long. So with that being said, let's get on with it. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because of my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. There it is, the famous line, guys. Look at that handsome individual right there. Who could that War be? War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? I think Absolutely. so. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Let's go, you handsome beast. Alright, oh, uh, we're gonna keep this relatively simple. So, face, we're definitely gonna turn him brown because, I mean, let's be real. I'm brown. Uh, I guess tanned oh, is probably the closest. Good. Uh, hairstyle, I've always been pretty biased towards colonial. If I could find it. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Hmm, Colonial. That's really working for me. And then I'm gonna change my eye color, of course, to light brown. I I, I don't know. I just like to 
change him as close to me as I as I can. Uh, dark black, where's or jet black? There we go. We'll just go with jet black. I like it. Thank Makes you. you. Look younger. All right, let's see. Uh, facial hair. I mean, you guys know me. I have a beard, so I gotta go with the beard. I think they're on the bottom in Fallout 4, as a matter of fact. I'm not gonna go with the full beard. I'm just probably just gonna go with a survivalist, because that's pretty think, much huh? where mine is at. Beard or no beard? So let's see. Uh, I think that's good enough, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, body... Uh, I'm nowhere near muscular anymore, but I'm just gonna do it anyways, just cause, you know, a little ego boosting for me. And that's gonna do it for us, as a matter of fact. So, let's go. Confirm character, yes. Look at that sexy beast right there. Woo! Alright, where are we going? Autosave tracking. What's up, Kazi? Ah, good morning, sir. Good morning. I don't know what normal coffee is, but that sounds hot. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My, My favorite. favorite. <laughs> oh, God, I love this game. I could probably quote every line. By the way, right across the street, you can see him right there barely, but that's the vault Tech guy. Or the vault Tech, vault Tech rep. Huh? Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's going to love this game. Look at this kid with the... Oh, if you pay attention, they actually talk about Vault 76 right here in this TV. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and uh, change the settings. Because I do have to make sure that I turn on subtitles. Dialogue. Subtitles. General subtitles. Is that all the subtitles? It is. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And also, another good thing about Fallout 4 is that you're not really locked into like a perk system, I guess. Like your starting special is by no means your ending special. You can all, you can have tens across the board and plus more if you would want actually if you set it up properly. Which is good because I won't have a Fallout 3 situation where I'll try out a uh, 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 you know, a build, and I don't like it. I could always just adjust. All right. So, with that being said, Can you get that? hello. Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Well, then I'm glad you're here. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Um, hmm, precious commodity. Precious commodity. <laughs> I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country... You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Uh... Okay, sure, why not? Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Alright, well, my name is going to be very complex. Alright, so just so you guys know, I am playing on PC, but I'm using an Xbox controller, so. Alright, so... I kind of want to go with the VATS build, so I'm going to go with 9 luck. And, I don't know, maybe nine agility? And then I'm going to definitely need a few charisma. We'll go with four and then perception. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that we're going to have to readjust this before we leave the actual vault 
like the are you sure this is what you want screen but we're gonna go with this for now because I know agility and luck are very important for VAT builds and perceptions I believe so too actually for accuracy in VATs but I kind of want to do a commando build like with automatic rifles and stuff so I don't know we'll see we're probably gonna have to fix some stuff but we'll we'll get to that point Wonderful. once we get there that's everything uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault congratulations on being prepared for the future um thanks again yeah yeah hey, it's peace of mind that's what hey hon Oops. for you and Sean <laughs> no price is too high <laughs> good answer I have my moments you know, these guys are a really good couple, man. Sir, What's Sean up, Codsworth? Has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. Alright, I'll take care of it. Codsworth, go on. Don't worry. I got, I got it. I'll take care of Sean. What's up, baby boy? What's wrong, buddy? What's wrong, baby buddy? Oh, you're a little cutie. The most important man in my life, Felix. It's been the mobile a bit. She loves that. Yeah, of course. Here you go. <laughs> little baby Sean. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Um. And do what? And do what exactly? Codsworth, what's wrong? Um, okay. We didn't even get to finish our conversation, Codsworth, before you rudely yes, interrupted us. Followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Wait, what's this? Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. Oh, God. My God. Oh, no. Oh we we need to get to the vault. Grab now. Sean, let's go, baby. We gotta go. Residents of Sanctuary Stay behind me. If you are registered, follow me. To vault 111 immediately. This way, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Ah! <laughs> Alright, no, seriously, let's go. Dude, this actually looks pretty beautiful. Never actually paid attention to it. Come on, Nora. We have to go. Sir, I am Not on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop sure. me. Oh, 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 oh. Holy okay, shit. Okay. They're not even letting the vault tech grab. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Let's go. You two, follow me. Come Let's on. go, vault Rep. What's gonna happen to all Our those man? people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Oh God. They're directing us in this sir, direction. Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. Yes, sir. Step on the platform in the center. You okay, Nora? Let's go. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh, oh my, god. my god. Lower it. Hold on. Oh, snap. Can you imagine being in that situation? Nah, bro, that sounds scary as hell. I would poop myself on the way down into the vault. <laughs> but I'm sure everybody would have. So they can all keep their judgments to themselves. In spite of my soiled pants. We did it. We made it. Yes, we did, sweetie. We are. Everyone, please. We're gonna start a wonderful new life here, sweetheart. Proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Better future underground. It's gonna take some time to get used to, but I'm glad we're here. Well, this way. Step over to the table and take a seat. You'll need your suits before we can take a uh, Thanks. 
step over to the What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Yes, sir. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. But it's gone. Our Man, home this is crazy. Look, what is all this? My mother and father down in DC. How long do you think we'll be Oh, down? God. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. What's this we got here? The ball is well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Um, that looks cold. I mean, you can see some crystals and stuff in there. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Um, okay. Decontamination pod. Don't worry, sweetheart. We'll decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals. Yeah, this looks crazy. Normal. Procedure complete. In five. What? They froze me and my wife with my with a baby. What's going on here? Mysterious figure. Oh, Shot my wife. <clears throat> That's a bullshit. <laughs> so oh, I'm gonna get you, asshole, Mr. Cereal Box. You just wait for it. <laughs> Mr. Cereal Box fan is gonna die. One way or another. That much is for damn sure. Must get out of here. Cryogenic array. All residents must vacate immediately. Oh God! Open come up! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh God! Man, the first time I played this dude, this this was heartbreaking to me. I'll find who did this, and I'll get shot down. I promise. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'll get my revenge, I promise. One way or another. <coughs> Might as well take all of this stuff. Any more junk in here? Nope. Inaccessible. Alright, let's go this way. Oh god, look at that giant cockroach. Let's take this. At least we have a weapon. Uh, I'll take this for junk. I'll take that for junk. That. Stim pack. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, I don't think I've ever read this terminal actually. All right, Vault One Eleven Security Instructions. Confidential. 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 Okay. 
Uh, Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. You, those bastards. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Holy shit. Uh, security staff are authorized to use lethal force. God damn, dude. Operations protocol manual. Resident admittance. Upon activation notice from vault all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of vault resident security personnel. Will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each uh, to the designated cryogenic pod. So that's what happened. We were frozen. Some sort of cryostasis. Uh, residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. My god. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation cham chambers, dispose of any detainees, uh, dispose of any detainees. Vault entry must remain sealed under any circumstances. So everybody who was extra that was never accounted for got killed right off the bat. That's crazy. All right, uh, all clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, vault will monitor hazards uh, such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all clear notice. Upon receiving the all clear notice, vault personnel may be evacuated evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault including government and military. Oh my god. So they're seeing themselves as the higher authority post-apocalypse. Not the government and not the military. Uh, residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. What? vault will attend uh, to their needs remotely once Vault 11 staff has been evacuated. What? You gotta be kidding me. Mandatory shelter period. Vault 111, uh, Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear all message from vault the overseer may elect to evacuate uh, staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving the all clear message from vault -Tec. Oh my god, bro. These guys are insane in the membrane. Oh wait. We never read the uh, security logs, did we? Alright, October 23rd, 2077. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. It Oh, dude, some people didn't make it in. Uh, now it's just us in and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all all that time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told him something? Yeah, you should have. Uh, December 25th, 2077. Christmas Underground. Uh, got together with the rest of the, secu of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. <laughs> uh, none of the scientists came overseer wasn't there either i just don't get them they hiding something from us another company secret only for the higher ups whatever just a few months until all the all clear is supposed to come through then we can all start rebuilding march 14 2078 okay only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying the all clear si uh, signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer. That's 
for sure. It's not just the fact that we've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months, tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. It's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Uh, he's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something's, Something bad is going on. I just don't know it. April 23rd, 2078. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support uh, staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. Last entry. No all clear from vault -Tec is coming. We need to leave. We're all... We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening the vault. Uh, opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Uh, now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Oh god, sounds like everything's getting crazy around here. Pre-war money. Alright. Alright, let's see what we got going on, going on around here, dude. Sounds like everyone was going literally crazy before it all went down. Ah! All right. Giant roaches. What the hell? That's definitely what you saw. And killed. All right, let's see. Overseer memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibility. Top 10. Okay, that's men. So this is just a, a game, pretty much. So I'm going to take it. Red Menace. All right. Um, Nothing in here. I'll take that hot plate for sure. All right. What about in the actual bedrooms? Now, everything looks like it's already been looted. But, I mean, no one's been here, but... It definitely looks like wherever everyone, wherever these people are, they definitely took all their shit. Let's see if the electricity kills them. And the answer is yes. Whoop whoop. And die. Oh. Dunskies, bro. What happened here? Where is everyone? Yeah, I think he's dead. Maybe. I mean, I could be I could be mistaken, but who knows. Kind of looks dead. No, die. All right. I don't really want to take the food, but I'll take these stim packs. And I'll take that gun. And I'll take that. Is this all that's left? Is that supposed to be the overseer? I'm not quite sure. Nice. Coming back later for you. The cryo later. I mean, I'll take these rounds and stuff, but I don't really... I'm not going to use this for much time, dude. I'm definitely going to go with the commando build, dude. It's something I've never explored in this game. Um, I've, I always go for a rifleman build, like a stealth rifleman. And I love it, don't get me wrong, but I definitely want to go with... Uh, Commando. I think it's going to be a lot more fun. Alright. Vault 111 Overseer Instructions. Alright. Vault, Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware humans. We have already read this. Wait. Have we read this? Uh. 
Un okay, Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Your sta- Okay, yeah, we didn't read this. So your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. Under no circumstances is suspension is suspension to be disrupted. Uh, this includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Holy shit. Insubordination of your attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method, th uh, method for cadaver disposal. I don't know what that means. Cryo later. Alright, I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable, on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components in I need to tinker with the prototype. It is, it's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Uh, operations protocol manual. Uh, resident admittance. Upon activation notice from vault -Tec, all personnel are required to report to the entry. Um, okay, this we definitely read. Staff duties? Science staff. Members of the research team uh, must daily monitor the viral, the vital signals of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life saving, saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident's population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not be interrupted and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is in, uh, encouraged and left to overseer discre uh, discretion. My God, dude. Alright, uh, security personnel. Security patrols are to be carried out on a consistent 8-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signals of intrusion, uh, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcing of regulations set forth by the overseer, uh, overseer enforcement of regulations set forth by vault -Tec. All right, facilities... Wait, hold on. Facilities, uh, facility services and maintenance. All right. Due to the nature of Vault 111, uh, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to overseer discretion. My God, dude, this is crazy. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, vault -Tec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels. Okay, upon receiving the... Okay, we've already read this. So, mandatory shelter period. Um, okay. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term lock. Okay, in the absence of the all-clear uh, message from vault -Tec, the overseer may elect to evacuate the staff. Okay, we've already read that too. Overseer's lock. Preparations. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Conquer Concord as well. vault supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time, I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was uh, nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing. When we sealed the entrance, oh my god, so the Nordhagen was the only person that died, apparently, that didn't make it into the vault. Resident admittance went uh, smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. 
System malfunctions. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Uh, nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. Uh, we're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault remote override system may have sent an e uh, errant errant signal. I don't know what that word means. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Oh, wait, I, that's, okay, supplies running low. Uh, there's been no all clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 100 day, 180 day mandatory uh, shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals, uh, uh, if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have, oh crap. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots, I will not be I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have uh, to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with this with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Oh my god. That's cray cray. Open evacuation tunnel. Don't mind if I do. Well, oh, we got our way out, it looks like. All right, we'll go to here. Definitely got to take that guy out. All right, we'll go with, oh God. All right, so far so good. All right, come over here, buddy. I got something for you. Ah! Got him. Let's see, any more rad roaches around here? I can tell you where there's one, right there, and then one right here. Just like that, I'm golden. Is anyone alive? Nope. <laughs> Did anyone get out? Utility jumpsuit. I, I'm not sure I've ever seen that, to be honest. All right, let's go. And just like that, we got our magical pit boy. I still have my pit boy. By the way, when I played this game before, it was on the PS4 and Xbox. I've never... I played it lightly on the uh, PC, but nowhere near as much as I did on the on console. Alright, let's check out our perks before we do anything. See if... Uh, if we... Uh, did good. Alright, so first things first, I want to go all the way over here. So we got a Ricochet. That could actually come in handy for... Of that of that's build so we got four leaf clover that's definitely gonna come in handy so blitz uh, find the gap I don't think I need that and I don't need that I don't need that 
Uh... I don't need that, so I can transfer three away from there. Um... Alright, let me see. What does Vats, uh, uh, agility do? Agility is a measure of your overall fitness and reflexes. It affects the number of action points in Vats and your ability to sneak. Now you instantly gain one point. I don't know, that seems pretty useful. Uh, what about over here? I'm definitely gonna need two in local leader. Actually, I'm gonna need four because I need to go all the way to... There, oh crap, okay, so... Alright, let's take one away from... One away from agility, put it in charisma. When we get to that point. But first things first. Let's do this. Let me out of this damn vault. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please, stand back. Don't tell me how to live my life. I might just do it. Open already, damn it. <laughs> that looks pretty awesome, actually. Attributes. Let's take one from agility, put it into charisma. Accept. That way it's just a little easier to get there, you know what I mean? Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Salt Tech. Why thank you? Let's see what wonders the wasteland has for us. I've never been a fan of the Ripper, man. It's too... Too much of... Even with the, like, the long barrel or whatever you want to call it. The extended arm, I think it's called. Um, even with that, it's still too damn short for my liking. Oh god, we're blind. And now I'm getting all the creation club stuff. That's funny. I'll take that Molotov cocktail. I'll take those. Alrighty. Plastic plate. Definitely take the stim pack, man. Let's go! So there's actually a bug with creation st uh, club stuff, specifically with this one, T uh, Tunnel Snake's Rule, that bugs out Cosworth, so I don't know if it's going to have that issue right here, so I suppose we'll find out right now. Cosworth, talk to me. As I live and breathe, oh, it's, it's really you. Uh, you're still here. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? Um. Uh, 
better place. She's in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Oh my god, no, he's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger induced paranoia. <laughs> Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. Uh, 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be. Uh, are you okay? Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear. <laughs> Stay with me, pal. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. But then... Everything happened. Thank you. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. So this is the part that's bugged with that one creation club thing. So we'll see right now what ends up happening. All right. Lead the way. Oh, it looks like he's actually... It's actually not bugged. Let's make this quick, shall we? Yes, let's. So normally what ends up happening is he just stays still right in front of the house. Uh, Don't worry, Kazi. I got you. Is that everybody? Hey, Codsworth. Sir, don't worry. My search protocols are on full alert. Awesome. So we got another house to go to. Dude, I'm sorry with all these freaking missions, dude. I should have probably just uninstalled or deleted all of those creation clubs and then just work on them one on one later. Oh, wrong button. Alright, well, that didn't work. Is that it? Too easy. Either. They're really gone, aren't they? Unfortunately. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. Oh, I'm not giving up, what bro. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks, Codsworth. You're amazing. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the hope. All right, well, oh God, I'm stuck. Let's go ahead and uh, we are actually going to activate this workbench. That way we at least have a settlement right off the bat. All right, there we go. Yes, I know the workshop allows you to build, adjust, and remove uh, nearby structures. Okay, we already know all this though. So 
we'll just leave it like that. And we're gonna do the same thing with Red Rocket and discover our little friend. I'm doing this because I kinda wanna become a certain general of a certain faction at a certain point in time. So, it helps having more settlements right off the bat, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and make our way over here to Red Rocket. But first things first, let's go ahead and take this. I'll take this pistol because I'm probably going to make it into an automatic weapon. No, get up there. I'll take the ammo too since it literally weighs nothing in this game. Unless you're playing in survival mode, of course. But for now... Hey, what's up, Poochie? Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You wanna come with me? You wanna come with me, pal? Such a okay, good dog. Then. Let's stick together. Yay, got my first companion. Alright, let's go activate this workbench, too, actually. There, now I got two workbench- Uh, two places. But, we're probably going to leave it here right now, though. Um... In the next video, we're definitely going to go over to Concord and find out what the situation is over there. Codsworth definitely told us to go search over there for Sean, so that's definitely what we're going to do. But, unfortunately, it's going to be in the next video because we're out of time right now. So, if you're excited for this series, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.